All right, we want to share with you a local story that has gone viral. This really heartwarming story out of Bell Vernon. Yeah, I love this story. We talked about it this morning on the news, and it comes from an Eaton Park restaurant. You could see we have a server there. His name's Dylan, so he works at Eaton Park, and he is taking the time to spend out of his shift with this particular customer. Yeah, this is a 91 year old who first apologized. He said, I, I have left my hearing aid at home. So Dylan knelt down to get his order and then he started talking to him and the man said, you know, I don't have a lot of people to talk to and he started telling him about uh, being in World War II. And so Dylan just said, I'm gonna take some time and, and chat with him. And so let's listen to Dylan. Listen to some of his stories. He was talking about the war some of the injuries he had, some of the places he's been, his family, tears were running down his face. Like you could just tell this man hasn't had a true caring person to talk to him in a long time. That's so sweet. I love that. No so wonder much. this story is just taken off. Yeah, yeah it, ha so. it has gone viral on social media. More than 100 likes now, over 30,000 shares. So people are really reacting to this and in a positive way. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it is back to school time. Norwin School District, in fact, is the first in our area to start back today. I can't believe it. It's also move-in day for some college students at Pitt and Point Park. Another sign of school, many pools are closing on weekdays. Mm -hmm. So, of course, the weather is really heating up at this point. Let's check in with uh, Ron for our local forecast. Hey, Ron. Yeah, you know, we wanted to just check in on those temperatures. We're just going to start you right there. We'll show you the seven day in just a bit. But you'll see those high temperatures today, 84 degrees. That's not a bad pool day, right? Well, uh, if you're trying to get to a public pool, it would be because they're closed. 88 tomorrow and 86 your Wednesday high. But then after that, man, 70s starting on Thursday. So some cooler air is heading our way. Let's talk about today. Best chance for rain blew through first thing in the morning around two o'clock in the morning. Had some stronger storms just below severe criteria that rolled through a lot of lightning, some strong wind gusts as well. Uh, a lot of those uh, uh, trash cans. If you had trash day today, blown all over the place. 84 year high temperature today. We're going to go an isolated chance for rain the rest of the day. It's mainly along I 80 that we're seeing that. Here's a look at your forecast. Uh, 82 at three o'clock, 83 at five and 82 at about seven o'clock. Partly cloudy skies for the rest of the day. And overall, you can see your rain chances right there. They start to tick up as a cold front slides in our area. So today, well, we've seen the best chance for rain. Tuesday, there'll be scattered showers for the afternoon. Cold front arrives on Wednesday. Wrap it all up early on Thursday morning with a little bit of drizzle around. That's that 30% chance for some rain. Here's your seven day outlook. 84 your high today, 88 your Tuesday high and 86 on Wednesday. Then there's that cool down again Thursday, Friday and into Saturday. It's going to feel fantastic, but it might be a little bit cool if you are trying to find that pool. I like the weekend, though. Yeah, I like the weekend, yeah. too. Mm -hmm. Well, we've done it again. We've run out of time, but be sure to watch us tomorrow at 9. We're in the kitchen with Market District Chef Ben D'Amico, who says this time of year is just peaches. He's making Ooh. us recipes using fresh peaches just coming into season right now. Sounds good. Plus, I'm talking with the stars of the longtime award-winning daytime drama, The Young and the Restless, about some new twist to the show you'll see coming up. Such a popular show. Oh, yeah. Plus, we're kicking off fall with black and gold fashions in the trend report. Mm -hmm. And sipping wine, too, from Seven Springs Wine Festival. Yum. I always like it when we have something <laughs> to sip. Yeah, that's good. Join us for all of that and more tomorrow at 9 on KDKA and then again at 1 on Pittsburgh CW. Thank you so much for spending part of your Monday with us. Make it a great day, Pittsburgh. Yeah, it is Monday. Uh... <laughs>